Hey guys, I just want to let you know I do have a Patreon account, and I would love if you considered subscribing to it. I've got lots of great behind the scenes and extra content for you guys, so please check out the link in the description below. Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind, and today I want to talk about why I feel like fame isn't something I've really ever actually wanted, um, despite being more and more popular in recent days. Now what I mean by this is not necessarily that I don't want to grow my YouTube channel or my following on social media or anything else, but I don't want to have the, the, the kind of things that fame is associated with in our day and age. Things like being put on a pedestal, being thought of as the paragon of humanity or of what it means to be a particular thing, that's never really been my thing. I've always been a person that views himself as a very average kind of guy, and I really don't want that to change just because I'm become just because I become popular. You see this all the time with with figures like Jim Carrey and Britney Spears, Robin Williams had it a bit. Just all these different celebrities that had this celebrity popularity status that turned them into fame, famed people really didn't help them to actually be individuals and didn't really help them to actually feel like they were loved for who they were rather than they were loved for the idea of who they were. Really just viewed as a celebrity and nothing more, not an actual average Joe. I can think of a lot of different I can think of a lot of different um, scenarios where this is really prevalent in society with regards to just how we view political um, candidates and even just politicians in general as negatively as possible because, oh, well, they don't change anything. They don't make anything good. They don't make anything right. And this is kind of the exact opposite with the way fame is. We find ourselves enamored with the idea of fame, with the idea of being famous, of being inst instantly adored by millions of people just for walking into an area, just for walking into a convention or whatever. And that's not really something that I've ever actually desired. I'm actually quite socially awkward. If you if you ever meet me in person, I'm not the kind of guy that can easily... Um, handle a ton of people wanting to see me all at once. I'm more the guy that likes to be a one-on-one -on -one type of um, meaningful communication kind of person. It's not that I don't like people. I love people, and people are starting to love me for who I am, thankfully. But for the most part, I'm just not big on the idea of really gaining popularity for the sake of popularity. I'm more wanting to be an influencer and be a positive influence on the world as a whole because, frankly, in this day and age, we need more positive role models. We need more positive influences. We need more positive forces on our own lives than what there really are in today's world. And that's what I try to do every day for about five to ten minutes a day. Sometimes just stepping in and saying, hi, how you been? Great to see you. And really being able to sit down and actually communicate that things are all right, that things are going to be okay, that we don't have to be perfect just to be better human beings, better versions of ourselves. That's the kind of thing I want to communicate. Not that, oh, look at me, I'm so rich, I'm so famous, I can just make it rain. I mean... Not that I wouldn't mind having financial security, but not at the cost of my own personal morals and my own personal values, because that's what fame usually ends up being, is just a compromise between what you truly want and what the company you're working for wants, because at the end of the day, all celebrities work for someone else. Whether it's a label, or a movie studio, or YouTube, or whatever it might be, you're going to end up working for someone else because you're not trusted to manage your own career in a lot of these cases. Now, for me personally, I'm never going to try and let that happen. I'm always going to try and be a free agent. But if the opportunity shows that I can get brand deals or something else like that, 
I'm still going to make sure that I'm not compromising my own personal beliefs just for a bit of cash, because that's not who I want to be, and that's not a who I want to show you guys uh, as me being. It's really just not something that I feel is becoming of me or flattering for me. But is fame all that bad? Not always. I mean, if you can handle the fame, it's great. But at the same time, like I said, being put on a pedestal really just isn't the best thing in my mind because I'm just an average Joe like the rest of you. I'm no different. I'm no special. I'm just the kind of guy that got lucky to be able to find something he loves doing and is able to make a living off of it. And that's all that I really ever wanted in life. I didn't want to be famous. I didn't want to be worldwide known. I just want to be me. And that's the biggest thing is if you've got a talent, be yourself. Don't try and be the famous person that everyone wants you to be. Don't try and work towards fame. Work towards success. That's the biggest thing in life. You can't buy success. You can only earn it through hard work. You can't compromise on who you want to be and still be happy at the end of the day. It just doesn't work. So what do you guys think about fame and fortune and all that jazz? I'd love to know what your comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. Um, just so you know, I do have the community tab open finally on my channel. So I'm going to be posting um, previews and um, thumbnails for you guys to review because I'll have po um, polls with them saying, is this good? Is this bad? Is this awful? Stuff like that. And I hope you guys will join me there and interact with me a bit. I love that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being my subscribers, my fans, my family here on YouTube and abroad. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. I'll be back when the day is new, and I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things that you'll want to talk about. I will, too, because it's you I like. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Hey, guys, before I go, I just want to thank all my patrons for supporting me every month. It is so good to know that there are people that are willing to put up with me and support me for even just $1 a month. If you guys are interested in getting behind the scenes content, extra videos, downloads of my song covers, and a whole lot more, please make sure to check the link in the description below and maybe consider subscribing yourself. You can do it for just $1 a month and I appreciate it. Have a great day.